हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर ई वी एस क्लास एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द टॉपिक बर्ड्स ऑफ यूनिट डी दैट इज टू टीयर टू ओके सो कैन यू सी दिस डायग्राम ऑफ अ बर्ड ऑन द बोर्ड येस दिस इज अ बर्ड एंड लेट सी द पार्ट ऑफ अ बर्ड इट हैज आई फोर हेड क्राउन नेक बैग फेदर्स टेल विंग्स क्लॉ बेली ब्रेस्ट थ्रोट एंड बीक ओके so we'll study one by one in detail about the bird okay. now birds are vertebrates and warm blooded animals okay they are the part of vertebrates vertebrates means those who have backbones okay so they are a part of vertebrates and they are warm blooded animals and they move mainly by flying okay now let's see the body parts of birds okay so birds have wings feathers and a beak okay all the birds have wings feathers and a beak and all, all the birds have wings but all the birds cannot fly all the birds have feathers in fact birds are the only animals that have feathers okay birds are of different colors theek hai birds are of different colors okay and they have very keen eyesight okay they have very keen eyesight okay some examples of birds are ducks owls penguins woodpeckers okay what they have is they have strong hollow and light bones and powerful flight muscles you know they have a strong hollow bones and powerful flight muscles birds have two types of feathers the first one is down feathers and the second one is flight feathers okay so down feathers means they these are fluffy feathers that covers a bird's body and keep it warm you know these feathers of the birds are fluffy feathers which keeps the body warm of a bird okay now the next one is flight feathers these are long feathers that are attached to the wings these feathers are the long feathers and are attached to the wings which helps the birds to fly these uh, these feathers are attached to the wings and the tail of a bird and these feathers are the are responsible for the birds to fly okay now let's see the body size of bird okay what is the size of the body so birds range in size from 5.7 cm to 2.75 meters okay the, so the smallest bird can be hummingbird and the largest or the tallest bird can be 2.57 meters that is ostrich okay now let's see the eating habits of birds okay so eating habits of different birds are different so see first one is parrots so they eat fruits pigeons they eat grains eagles they eat mice and small birds vultures they eat dead animals and dead birds and the scavengers they eat, they feed on dead and decaying matter okay now the next thing is reproduction so what is reproduction reproduction is producing their own young ones okay so birds hatch from eggs and are cared by parent birds means reproduction of birds is done by laying eggs and after that they care for their eggs and the baby birds come out from the egg okay now let's see the life span of birds life span is different of different birds so as a general rule larger birds tends to live la longer okay so a small song birds life span is 10 months okay a lesson albatross has survived 42 years and 5 months in the forest okay the next is parrots that have been kept as pets parrots are kept as pets and if they are cared they have the capacity to live over 80 years okay 
now let's see the uh, movement national importance and habitat of bird so i have already told you in the starting of the class that birds move by flying so birds fly with the help of wings and the muscles of their uh, body helps the wings to move okay the next thing is national importance the peacock is the national bird of india okay so birds get the okay so peacock is the national bird of india and the kiwi is the national bird of new zealand so there are different birds uh, which is importance in their own country so in india peacock is the national bird okay now let's see the habitats most of the birds build nest to live in okay birds home is nest okay nest is birds home different bi uh, birds build different types of nest with their beaks okay so first one is tailor tailor bird so uh, this bird uses its beak like a needle to sweep sweep leaves together different le they tailor bird tailor bird is the bird who uses it its beak to sew different uh, different leaves and make a habitat or nest for them using thread and wool that is why its name is called tailor bird okay now the next one is woodpecker woodpecker uh, are those who make hole in a tree by their beaks okay a woodpecker pecks into the tree trunk with a sharp beak to make a hole the hole is then lined with soft chirps of wood to make a nest that is cozy and comfortable when they make a hole in a trunk of a tree they uh, live inside which is very comfortable and cozy for them now let's see kinds of beak birds have okay so can you see the image on the board yes so first one is strong sharp and curved beaks and the example of these beaks can be kite eagle vulture owl okay the next one is short hand and horny beaks the examples can be pigeon peacock sparrow etc okay the next one is curved hooked beaks and the example can be parrot cockatoo owl etc the next one is strong chisel shaped beaks example can be woodpecker hummingbird etc and the last is broad and flat beaks example is duck spoonbill now let's see the process of migration what is migration migration is the periodic or seasonal movement of birds from one geographical region to another because of available food supplies means birds move from one uh, geographic region to another in search of food where the food is available they move from one place to another okay one such bird famous for covering the longest distance is the arctic tern it migrates from its northern breeding grounds to the oceans around antarctica and back covering around 70000 to 80000 kilometers each year birds may travel hundreds or thousands of miles during migration now let's study about pigeons so pigeons are found all over the world they are found in small flocks means around 20 to 30 birds together their diet is seed and grain they are very well hidden and they are very hard to find the female pigeon lays two eggs at a time two white eggs at a time and these pigeons can fly up to 50 miles an hour and as far as 600 miles a day okay so that's all for today students if you have any doubts you can contact me to clear your doubts till then read the pages take care bye bye